five years. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about feminism in relation to heterosexual relationships. There is no point, like, denying the fact that as a feminist, someone is going to be like, oh, so you're a man-hating lesbian then? And hey, maybe you are, but in all likelihood, you're not. And eventually, you'll probably end up having feminist beliefs and a boyfriend or husband, or the desire to have one. Crazy, I know. The thing is, though, the patriarchy is probably going to try and get its little claws into your relationship and fuck it up with gender roles and stereotypes and shit like that. After all, the personal is political. The relationships we have with people contribute to or diminish the patriarchy, depending on how we choose to navigate them. And if you're not a lesbian, or indeed don't practice political lesbianism, then it's going to be more difficult to not let the patriarchy define your relationships. We must strive to be women-identified women, even whilst having partners of the opposite sex. Many radical feminists would probably say that this is an impossibility, due to the inherent unbalance of power that characterises male-female relationships. I say, fuck that. Challenge it if you possibly can, you know? I'm not naive, obviously, if the systems of oppression that hold us down could just be wheeled away like that then yeah it'd be dust by now but that isn't to say that we can't tear it down bit by bit by doing everything that we can in our power i take the view that human nature is androgynous the differences between the sexes are tiny 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 and um yeah gender is just culture and socialization so yeah we can turn the tide on shit your relationship with a man should not define you you should not feel validated by the approval of men. The affirmations of a man in regards to your beauty should not be your prime endeavour in life. You should not be with a man because it's expected of you, or because you would feel worthless without one. When people ask you, do you have a boyfriend? Don't blush or feel ashamed when you say you don't. Or if you do have one, don't look down on those girls who don't have boyfriends. You'll only be perpetuating the view that one is essential to being a whole woman. And also, if you do have a boyfriend or husband, acknowledge your heterosexual privilege that comes with that and fight to make this disappear for your non-straight sisters. You should be with a man because you're similar, because you make each other laugh, because you share an outlook on life. Do not subvert your needs to mindlessly accommodate what he wants, you know. Don't let lazy gender roles permeate your relationship. Take it in terms to cook and clean and mend what needs mending. Do not assume that he'll pay for your meals and kill the spiders in your bathtub. Although, don't kill any spiders. They're good. Most importantly, remember your worth as a woman and do not let any man diminish that.